You've reported, Mark, that uh, you can even hack into computers remotely. What exactly is going on here? That's right. So there is a flaw. Basically, it has to do with the root directory of your Mac computer. It's basically the underlying file system. And the way it works is you can log in with the password, with no password and the username root, R-O-O-T. And root is basically a term for that underlying directory, uh, like I said. So I don't have to type in Emily Chang and your password. I have to just type in root and whatever. But there is a fix for it coming out. Apple tells us there's a software update, but also users can mitigate the issue themselves uh, by setting a password to that root account. So anyone can hack anyone's Mac right now? Basically, if you have it physically in your possession and a person has login settings that allow you to type in a username and a password, you can do that. There is a feature to have auto login on, so every time you open my computer, it goes straight to the Mark Ehrman account. But one of the default settings is to disable that. This same flaw also works if you are in the settings panel, and it would allow you to go in there with the root username and no password, disabling encryption for your storage drive, making your computer less secure, turning off a firewall, allowing people, intruders, to be able to remotely get into your computer. So this issue basically opens up a can of worms and hopefully it gets fixed very soon. And if you don't have the computer in your possession, someone can also hack in remotely. Right. How would that happen? So if you are on the same network, there's a uh, protocol called VNC, mm -hmm. which basically allows you to remote in, use the person's computer, look at their display, what's going on their screen, access their files. I can type in root as the username and no password if you have your Mac here from my Mac and I can get into all your, you know, your pictures and documents and whatnot. Now they're issuing an update. Updating your software on, on your Mac is kind of a lengthy process though, right? I mean, it, that can take a long time. Well, they sort of trimmed it down. So now when the software update comes out, you basically go to the App Store, the Updates tab, and it will show you the High Sierra update. It's probably going to be 10.13.2. Uh, They've been working on this update for a bit. You install it. Probably most users can get it done within 15 to 20 minutes.